Seems like the Carolina Panthers organization and Cam Newton got beef. What's beef? Beef is when I see you. Guaranteed to see you and I see you. <laughs> little biggie for the dudes that's a little bit too young. But let's talk about this growing beef and how Teddy Bridgewater is in the middle of it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check out our NFL playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Share the video. It's the best way to help the channel out. And Carolina Panthers Twitter account and Cam Newton got into a messy split on Instagram. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. That's one of the things I hate is now, you know, they are communicating with players and they cutting players and they these these team Twitter accounts not even releasing press releases, you know, is doing this on Twitter. And Cam Newton responded and we get to it in a minute. Pre get to it in a minute. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And here he goes. He says that uh we have given Cam Newton permission to seek a trade. And I don't know why Cam Newton got to be extra with the words. Stop with the word play. I never asked for it. Uh, there is no dodging this one. I love the Panthers to death and will always love you guys. Please do not try and play me or manipulate the narrative and act like I wanted this. You forced me into this one, what is it, one love? That's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. This dude got to be extra. He, 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 he made this like he dressed. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Hey, it's his business. These players get caught up in their feelings. And you got to remember, man, I was having a conversation with somebody a few weeks ago about players, man. And players really don't have a maturity level in professional ball players. At least in America, America don't really have a maturity level to handle these situations, man. A lot of these dudes never had a job. You know what I'm saying? And that's where lies a lot of the problem. They never paid a bill. So they don't understand how business in the world works. You know, how to manage money. If you never manage the uh, a teen of uh, like a teen check working at the grocery store with Dixie Kroger's, you know, Costco's. Let's say you were getting two fifty while you was in high school. If you never was able to manage two fifty and pay a cell phone bill or give your mom money for the light bills or something of that nature, how you gonna manage, you know, twenty million, a hundred million, two hundred million dollars? You know what I'm saying? Unless your your parents got their head on their shoulders together. We know a lot of these dudes come from situations where their fa family is in debt, so he don't really understand how to deal with um, the breakup. It is, it's is—it's a business. These dudes cry and say, I was loyal to the team, and I did what they wanted to do. It's no different from a motherfucker working at Chrysler, Ford, GM, Amazon, you know, the grocery store. You know, when they want, when they used you up, and it's time to give you retirement, or you work, you getting too much money, and you getting these bonuses and these raises, they'll fire you. Now, most of the store, states are, you know, work, white, right to work states. They'll fire you. When they used you up, you know, and, and you you go broke, and they ain't looking to give your black ass a job. They ain't looking at to give you a penny or nothing. You know, ain't no loyalty. So there's no point to be loyal to a team. Look at these owners in the NBA. The players are paying the, the arena worker staff. I mean, wage. Why ain't the owners paying that? Look at the NFL owners, and I'm going to talk about the CBA later. Look at the NFL owners. You know, look what they doing. They just, they want every dime. And what you got to understand is the majority of these owners having an NFL team is a side job. It's not even their main source of income. And they still being stingy with the NFL money and don't want the brothers to eat. But, you know, Cam looking for a trade. He may get traded wherever Tom Brady don't go. If Tom Brady go to the Chargers like Cam Newton predicted in the offseason, then Cam may go to Tampa Bay. You know, and it depends on Teddy Bridgewater. I'll get to him in a minute. He may go to Chicago, which it don't sound like, you know, Bridgewater, Chicago was in negotiations. Don't sound like it went well. You know, he can end up in New England. You know what I'm saying? He can end up a number of places, man. You know, Cam, Cam can, man. You know, so the Raiders could be an option. They talking to Mariota. Don't know if they officially signed him. And you can have Derek Carr in the market as well, too. So we'll see what they can get. I don't think they can get an awful lot for Cam. And they told Cam they want him here if he's healthy. Which they hurt, they hurt Cam's trade stock for they, for themselves because they should have never put out here. Oh, we want Cam back if he's healthy. You shouldn't have said nothing because now you trading him and make it seem like he ain't he ain't passed the physicals and he won't be healthy. So why do I want to trade for a broken down quarterback that's predicated? His game is predicated on his legs. Let that marinate for a minute. Why would I want to trade for a quarterback that's broken down that you don't want? That's the question. So, 
like I said before, you can be handed a number a number of places. Uh, they're ready to get rid of them. You knew they're gonna get rid of them. You got a whole new owner. You got David Temper, the new um, GM that been there. He ain't been no Cam fan. And you got the new coach. You know they got this monster deal who ain't proved shit in the NFL yet. And yeah, you know he white. So if I'm Cam, I'd rather really get out of Carolina. Everybody else gone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, Luke gone. Luke Keekley, you know, Greg Olson gone, just move on and go somewhere else, man. Go to a real organization. Carolina ain't never won shit. They went to a Super Bowl, but they ain't never won shit. Be happy to move to Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Be happy to find somewhere that, that you can fit at. You know, I know the Broncos looked at him, but Drew Locke looked like he balling. But I heard that, and I'll link all this in the description of the source link, Teddy Bridgewater had some good conversations with Carolina. So they could be uh, replacing Cam Newton with Teddy Bridgewater. And, and don't get me wrong. I want to see Teddy Bridgewater uh, succeed, but he ain't shit. You know, not for no $20 million. A year. I wouldn't pay Teddy Bridgewater $10 million a year, $7 million. Teddy Bridgewater ain't proved shit with the Saints to me. He was bus driving. All, the Saints is self-operation. You could plug a, a solid quarterback in there and get the same results you get from an old-ass Drew Brees and Teddy Bridgewater. You've seen it when they plug Teddy Bridgewater in. Teddy Bridgewater ain't that ain't good, that good of a quarterback. I watched him when he was healthy with Minnesota. Teddy Bridgewater is not that good of a quarterback. To be making no $20 million a year, I wouldn't pay him shit. To be honest, you know, they trying to act like Teddy Bridgewater going to change life. Yeah, he upgrade over Trubisky. You know, don't get me wrong, but is he a big upgrade over Jameis Winston? If you look in that Tampa, I would say no. He just won't lose a game for you, but he ain't going to throw for them touchdowns like Jameis. So with Carolina replacing, you know, Cam Newton with Teddy Bridgewater, I don't really see them getting no better. You know, is Cam Newton done? He probably is finished. You know, body messed up. His accuracy always been messed up, always been high with the ball. So, you know, we got to see what happens with him. We got to see what happens with him. But depending on where you go, I would say Chicago – it's probably an option. I would probably say New England is probably an option. Even though they like Jordan Stidham out of Auburn. They, the rookie from Latin. He was rookie last year. He'd be second year this year. Um, who else we got out there? Uh, Tampa might be an option depending on what happened. So, it's, it's some options out there for him, man. And, um, you know, Indianapolis might be an option. Even though they traded away some draft capital already to get uh, DeForest Buckner. So, there's some teams out there, man. Minnesota just signed Kirk Cousins. I'll talk about that later. So, you know, shit, Tennessee could have signed Cam. He better than Tannehill. So, you got to see what happened. But with Teddy Bridgewater, I mean, that'd be a good flip for him to go to Carolina and, and get the bag and prove it. But, ain't no Mike Thomas over there. Ain't no Avocat. Well, they got Christian McCaffrey. But, ain't no Sean Payton over there. We'll see. That coach named Matt Rule. We'll see. Teddy got to get the bag somewhere. And Carolina is straight, you know. Charlotte is a booming town right now, man. But it'd be interesting to see where Cam go. It really would, you know. Uh, but I think at this point, I think if I'm him, I would take a year off from football and let my body uh, rehabilitate. You know what I'm saying? And let it heal up and be right. I, I do think Cam Newton physically done. You know, he ain't going to be running around. He got to learn to play the game from the pocket. He got to make that maturation that Mike Vick made with the Eagles that one year. Randall Cunningham eventually made, and, you know, he went 15-1 with the Vikings that year. He got to make that type of, that type of you know, you know, make that type of evolution. You know, he got to evolve into a, a quarterback that can play from the pocket and run when need be. But if he don't evolve into that type of quarterback, you know, it is over with for him. He got to be a pocket quarterback. It's over. But Teddy Bridgewater, I'm happy getting the bag. To me, he just ain't that good. It never had been. I haven't seen what the hype about Teddy Bridgewater is. Even with the Saints, he played some really good games. But he didn't go out there and light the world on fire. It's like I said, the Saints offense is on cruise control. You can plug, you know, mostly a lot of solid quarterbacks in there. And they can do, you know, what Sean Payton got designed. They can do what Teddy has done and Breeze has done, at least last year. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. About Cam, I'll link the sources in the description. Don't forget we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you got business, question, inquiry, response, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. 
Appreciate the love and support. Want to make a donation to the channel? That link's in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video, and check out our NFL playlist. More videos like this, we go.